Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters I hope you are well An alarming video has been making the rounds on the internet featuring a young girl openly burning the holy Quran while wearing a head scarf The video has sparked outrage and condemnation from various quarters with many questioning the girl's motives and her identity as a Muslim It is truly heartbreaking and outrageous that Muslims are now also starting to participate in such hostile acts but is the hijab girl as guilty as she is declared by the people if we take a closer look at the video and try to understand what the lady is saying after desecrating the quran we will get a clearer picture of what's going on the lady explains in arabic that she is actually trying to safeguard the mushafs which is written pages of the quran from any disrespect she is disposing of the quran in the most suitable manner what are they uh, supposed to do with it they should take them off take them out put them in the cupboard or try to um if they wish they can burn them and burning them here is not out of disrespect rather it is out of respect so many people when they say we have an old copy of the quran is all torn out and we cannot read in it what should we do with it scholars say burn it So oh, you're like the Texas reverend in America who is humiliating the Quran. No, he's doing it out of disrespect. We're doing it out of respect. So in order to preserve and to protect the word of Allah Azza wa Jalla, we are burning it so that it would not be dishonored. Or you can bury it in a very far remote place and this is also legit. Nowadays with paper shredder shredders you can put it in one and get rid uh, uh, of it uh, with respect there's no doubt among us muslims that it is essential to show respect and reverence for the holy quran while taking steps to prevent it from being mishandled when it comes to handling worn out pages of the holy book that can no longer be used for reading two acceptable methods can be used number 1 they can be buried in a clean and pure location ensuring they will not be exposed to mishandling in the future to the best of one's knowledge number 2 alternatively they can be subjected to burning which is permissible and not objectionable in any way the key to understanding this issue lies in the intention behind the act when someone deliberately burns the quran with the intention to harm or disrespect the sentiments of muslims it is vile and outrageous act such actions incite hatred and solely aimed at disrespecting the holy book on the other hand if someone's intention is to protect the quran from being disrespected or safeguard its sanctity burning it is not an issue rather it is recommended this may occur when the quran is damaged and it is necessary to dispose it properly to prevent further damage وننزل من القران ما هو شفاء ورحمه للمؤمنين ولا يزيد الظالمين الا خسارا may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who respect the quran and take it as a form of mercy and guidance from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding of the holy book amen that's it for today brothers and sisters i hope you like the video let us know your thoughts in the comment section below we would love to hear from you hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell share this video with your family and friends until next time assalamu alaikum